It started as words on a page that have transformed into a powerful literacy tool, equipping mid-Michigan students with the ability to deal with life inside and outside the classroom. During this Women's History Month, Elise shows us how Flint's first poet laureate is receiving international acclaim by using poetry as a second language. Underneath the loud crunch of what's left of winter and amid the foliage dancing desperately to an assertive march wind dandelions you can hear signs of new life emerging through the awakening of the dandelions carrying the spirit of the weed the so-called weeds haven't sprouted outside just yet but inside peckham career academy in genesee county i am a proud weed there's an upsurge of the yellow blow balls oh look led by award-winning educator and Flint's inaugural poet laureate, Samaj Brown. We are black dandelions who will never be destroyed. Her poetry reverberating a short drive east of here inside the Flint Institute of Arts, where students are turning her 2019 poem, Black Dandelion, into actions of art. There's a line in the poem, bees celebrated the return of the dandelions in a skirt of twirling yellow bliss. So the question is why? Why are the bees celebrating? And what do we have in common with the bees? So I asked the students, how are you gonna navigate the, your turbulence? Because they have a great deal of turbulence in their life. We have to be strategic, like the bees. As each student maps out their artistic strategy, creating digital manipulations of their own portraiture and experimenting with light and movement like the bees, they're finding joy through black dandelion. It's really about freedom, freedom for our planet Earth, the geological planet Earth, the people on the planet Earth, um, the insects and the animals and the plants. These are all your words. She says last year, the students used the poem as social and emotional learning as they dealt with the death of a fellow student. The journey with the poem has also been a revelation for Samaj. The Academy of American Poets, from which I am a fellow, took the poem and sent it all over the country and the world. Students of varying ages from across the country. Seeing life poured their hearts out to her in messages and letters through the Academy's Dear Poet Project. And they were from every ethnicity, and they explained how they really identified with the black dandelion. I said, but I want them to have more volume and more people know about this, and if it affected these children like this, well, my goodness, it could affect and have impact on the children here in Flint. And so the educational, multimedia, and integrative platform Black Dandelion Convergent Voice was born. Samaj presented it at the Michigan Council of Teachers of English in 2022. I started developing this program, Poetry as a Second Language, the Samajian Method. And the first place it was published was with the Academy of American Poets. She, she doesn't like disrespect. disrespect. She shows respect. It's giving them an outlet that they may have never known before. Casey Jane sees firsthand the positive impact the curriculum has had with students at Peckham. Really empowering them to um, feel that control, and especially in written word, like having that control of what words are we using, what tone are we wanting to set. Um, and that translates not even to just an art, but like, with Peckham, we talk, we're a vocational program. So translating that into employment, um, feeling confident walking into that interview. I'm, now you talk about proud. I'm proud of you all. all right. Their responses were genius. And it resulted in a collaborative poem, which is so profound. And just her presence in front of the students means a lot to them. Because I like the poem, and it just kind of like made me feel better because knowing somebody wanted to come see us. Really made me really think about life different. I could understand, I could relate to some of the stuff that she was talking about in her poem. We have studied Black Dead Alive. Black Dandelion Convergent Voice is being studied in more than a dozen schools and organizations in Michigan and Togo, West Africa. This is what education should be. Receiving national acclaim in black enterprise and featured in an AT&T commercial. No blooming allowed. Blossoms will be prosecuted. 
Samaj's work is a conduit for others whose blossoms are suppressed. Black dandelion acts as a heat to bring out pain that people didn't know was there. That's why I do this work, because I see great potential in human capacity. Reporting in Genesee County, Elise Ramey, WNEM, TV5. And you can support Samaj through the second annual Black Dandelion Convergent Voice Forum. It's a festival of literacy that will feature students and professors delivering presentations on Black Dandelion. It's Saturday, April 6th from 945 to 3 at the FIA, and it is free. We have a link in our hotlink section on WNEM.com.